Australian authorities are preparing for potential attacks from the sun. It's more active than it's been in the last two decades, apparently. Firing radiation and projectiles, which can cripple power and communication networks. And as our science and tech correspondent Bruno Halloran reports, it's prompted experts to re-examine plans. It is one fierce, great ball of fire. And right now, it's fired up. Certainly, this is a very active phase of the cycle, and as a result, we are seeing a lot of uh, activity on the sun. Scientists say we're in the middle of a solar maximum, a period of dramatic activity on the sun's surface. It's predicted to become even more extreme, increasing the danger for us on Earth. We do expect to continue to see more, more frequent events uh, over the next couple of years and an increased likelihood of having larger events as well. Solar flares can send bursts of extreme radiation towards Earth at the speed of light. Magnetic plasma is fired our way in massive coronial mass ejections. While they can make beautiful auroras like those seen in May, they can also damage satellites, cut communication networks and the power to millions of people. They can pop fuses, they can cause blackouts. So there are direct economic uh, effects from the large coronal mass ejections. This is essentially Australia's solar defence. The Bureau of Meteorology's Space Weather Centre in Adelaide analyses hundreds of images of the sun daily monitoring for activity which could impact Earth. We'll issue relevant warnings uh, and alerts that will help to inform people of the event that may occur. Those warnings can range from three days to 14 hours. The Bureau, along with several other agencies, staged exercises earlier this year and is working on a new national strategy for responding to solar weather threats and protecting critical infrastructure. We also start to see there's material being ejected out of the sun. While the CSIRO has increased its solar monitoring, its radio telescopes looking at distant galaxies are now also looking for solar winds, seen as twinkling light from our little star so that we can improve the predictions of our space weather effects. Solar storms have impacted Earth for eons. The first documented one occurred in 1859 and crippled global telegraph systems. Storms in 2003 caused mass blackouts across Europe and North America and led to flight diversions. And while the technology has improved, we are still very vulnerable to the activities occurring on that star 149 million kilometres away. The sun will do what it wants to do, uh, we can't really stop it. Brent O'Halloran, Sky News.